Alright folks, here is an SC3, and uh, you've probably seen it on some of my other videos if you watch my videos. And this is the uncoated 1095 carbon steel version. I think they're all carbon steel, but uh, this one's uncoated. Anyhow, it's got some light use, not a lot of heavy use or hard use at all. And uh, what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and do a forced patina or a mustard stain. Um, I have a couple different videos doing a mustard stain on uh, quite a few different types of knives and axes and machetes and stuff like that. But uh, anyhow, I wanted to go ahead and do one on this. As it's starting to get some use, I noticed a little bit of discoloring right here on the end of the blade. Uh, I want to go ahead and put a patina on there, protect it from further corrosion and rust. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Alright, we're back. And uh, this is French's mustard. I've tried this on different blades with different kinds of mustards and um, I've always gotten the most success from French's. So that's what I'm going to use moving forward. And you can do whatever kind of design you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that mustard on there like that. I'm going to leave it and we're going to come back in about 20 minutes. Alright and we're back and we're going to go ahead and clean this, uh, this mustard off this knife. The thing is, is you have to do multiple patinas. So sometimes you get a pattern that comes out and you're like, yeah, that's great. But uh, typically I'll do a couple of coats and uh, see how it turns out at the end. Alright, I'm going to stop this and then we're going to get set up to do the other side. All right, now we're going to the other side. You can see some of the mustard ran over, and there is already some uh, discoloration, but not a big deal. We're not upset about that at all. So we're going to go ahead and let that sit for about 20 minutes. All right, folks, here's the uh, second side. I forgot to show when the uh, timer ran out and uh, cleaning it. And then here's the first, or the, uh, the original side. And it looks like it's oxidized a little bit more since the uh, first staining and I'm okay with that because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a series of coats so a couple more on each side and then we'll come back at the uh, finish stage and see how it looks at the end alright thanks everybody alright folks we're back so here is the uh, finished product and what I did was three coats of the mustard on uh, each side And then I ran some down along the edge, and you can see some, some coloration changes here, too. So anyhow, that's it. It's a very easy mod. It turned out pretty good. And it actually protects the blade by putting this base coat of um, corrosion on here. It'll help with some controlled corrosion when this gets wet. Um, I live and camp in uh, the mid-Atlantic, mostly, and uh, it's kind of a moisture-rich environment. So I've always had a little bit of a problem with rust issues and uh, 1095, and I find that this works the best for me. And I uh, only had it for a couple of weeks so far, the, uh, the SC3, but I found it to be one of the, uh, the best internet bushcraft knives I've handled. I love this thing. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks.